Yo, what up? It's Roger from the Masquerilla Podcast. First podcast in a minute. If you follow Masquerilla on Twitter or Instagram, you know I've had a pretty big month, but we're back. We got a special episode. This is rare. This is pretty rare. We got MC Holocaust and Cursed from Doom Shop, Six Set. 211 Records. 186. <laughs> All that. Yeah. Is this your first? This is your first on camera video interview. One eight six. Yeah. Yep. One eight six. One eight six two eleven. Yeah. With the first interview. First interview. Real shit. But the one and only. You guys have been around for years. Yeah, we've been around for a minute. So yeah. I think in 2017 I wrote an article on Mascarilla.com, and I think the title was like Doom Shop is under the underground right it was like something yeah, like that's, that that's correct yeah, yeah, yeah. it's correct and the whole it's premise correct. of the article it's a short article but it was like you guys have been doing it for years and i barely even knew mm-hmm. like you guys are like under the underground yeah like you're like the real underground or whatever you want to call it yeah so how did this all start like what's the story here uh well I want to say, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you lead because yeah. I follow your lead. <laughs> so basically, uh, Six Set was the first kind of like click that started, but it wasn't really like music at first. It was more like a click of homies and shit, like around the neighborhood, just tagging, fucking bullshitting, partying. And then I was the first one to start like rapping and shit, and I started recording. Started doing a bunch of shit, like, with DJ Killer C. Started, like, working with some Raider Clan members, like, here and there. <clears throat> and then it just took off from there. It started doing numbers and shit, and then started fucking... Started getting some, some of a, somewhat of a buzz, and then started working with other artists. I met up with D, and then he already had Doom Shop Records going. Like, what year was it? Like, 2014? Okay, so Doom Shop Records started, and first of all, also my voice sounds like because I did a fucking show. <laughs> but um, okay, Doom Shop Records started with me, Stone Dog, and DJ Fat Junt. Shout out DJ fucking Fat Junt. DJ Fat Junt, big part of this shit. Stone Dog is the one, I already had Doom Shop, the thing going in 2000. I started it in November 2014. Uh, Stone Dog is the one who actually put the records on this shit and changed the game of that shit because it gave me ambition to keep going, you know? If he didn't do this shit, I probably wouldn't even be here right now. If he didn't put that records on that shit, I probably wouldn't even be here right now, dog. Yeah, shout out Stone Dog. Real Real. shit. That's a fucking legend. I put respect on his name every fucking day, (laughs) you know? That's a real one. So, yeah, it was us three. Then uh, I reached out to him. Somehow, through Twitter or whatever, but whatnot. It was a grant, some shit like that. Twitter yeah, we grant. we worked on some shit. Blase, blase. He asked what was. Uh, we had one other homie who was a big part of this shit. He asked me after that. Then just the natural progression just kept on going. It just kept on going. Yeah, we just kept dropping. We just shit. kept on going. So you're from Los Angeles. Yeah, born and raised. And you're from Birmingham. Ala fucking Alabama. Alabama. Shout out Alabama, man. <laughs> fuck Alabama. No, okay, so fuck Alabama, actually. Y'all trash. Trash state. That's why I left y'all niggas. Honestly, it's a I love I love Alabama because it, it, it made me it made my, my lyrics the way they are for a reason. But real shit. Yeah. Negative energy. Shout out some of the people in Alabama, but for oh, the most for part, sure. some, trash. Yeah. No, uh. it, it made me who I am, for sure. Yeah. And maybe who I am, but I, I, I'm not. I'm not a fan. Yeah, I'm not a fan. So, <laughs> so are, are you still living in Alabama, or are you out here now? I live in Portland right now. Oh, okay, sick. Yeah, like Portland, Alabama. That's a big change. Yeah, culture, culture shock. That's it's like culture shock. That's like worst you, state you, you, to like you, one you, of the best. You, you go know, to crack to meth. Right, exactly. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Fucking wild over there. So something else. 2014, you start six set. No, no, six set like started like 
music wise, it started like 2012. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. 2012. Like yeah, really, yeah. really early days of like SoundCloud, like rap, and yeah, pretty much 2012. Yeah, scoot that mic in. There we go. 2012. So what else, what was going on in 2012 that you decided like, hey, I'm going to make music, I'm going to put on Bandcamp, I'm going to put on SoundCloud, like what was going on in Uh, that era of the internet? Like, I want to say like around that era, like SoundCloud, it was popping, but it wasn't like what it is today. So uh, Bandcamp, like, you know, was popping too. We were dropping shit, uh, making like complications of like me, uh, Baker, he was one of the first members too, um, Ramirez, me, fuck, I want to, I don't, I don't even remember who was exactly back in the day, but we started dropping a lot of shit and then it started doing good numbers, band camp, um, yeah, pretty much. And then just from there, we just started making a lot of, a lot of good music, man. Because, a lot of memories with other members. So I had Ramirez on the podcast a few episodes ago, mm-hmm. and it came up that he was in your crew. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think you guys said it wasn't the full story. You put it on your Instagram. I was like, you should come on the podcast. We've been talking about it for years anyway. So what exactly is the story with that? I'm Just, not going to go you know, too deep yeah. in it, but basically, you know, that's my, you know, it, he was my brother. At a certain point, you know, we would sleep over each other's cribs. We would just, you know, party, bullshit together. You know, he'll come out to L.A. I'll go out there to Oakland and fucking the Bay Area, Richmond. You know, just fucking whatever. So we kind of just had a bond, whatever. And then there was just a certain point we weren't talking and shit. And then just, I think I was like fucking, I was going to school at the time and shit. And... You know when you when you build memories with people and shit, like you come at them with a certain way and you have a certain relationship with people, like you just you don't you don't go about certain things kind of the way he did was more like it was through like a fucking text message and that's kind of like a little disrespectful to me because he I looked at him as a brother, like you know hit me up, call me, like meet up with me and we'll talk I will about call this you. shit and. I think he said on the podcast that he wanted to go this way, and I was trying to go one way, but it wasn't even like that. It was more like, oh, shit. Dude, like that, that thing go. always... Oh, I got to oh, put shit. some more tape. That's like the eighth time that's happened. <laughs> fucking nail it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and it wasn't even like that. It was more like we were both trying to come up at the same time and, like, whatever. You know, if you don't want to be a part of my shit, cool, whatever. Go about your way, but this, the way he did it was just... I found it very disrespectful. So from there on, we just stopped talking and shit. We just stopped fucking with each other. And we just kind of had that little animosity for each other. And then we started talking again. And then he had me come out for a show, whatever. We did like two shows. And then, I don't know, we just stopped talking. We stopped fucking with each other. And then just the whole fan base kind of like made it into some type of beef and shit. Like. But do you agree? Do you? Do, but do you agree with his fan base? I don't agree with his fan base. I just, I don't know. I just don't fuck with any of that shit at all. I'm just on my own tip, I'm trying to get my own movement, trying to get Six Set and Doom Shop up. And we were coming up. We were coming up at the same time. We were meeting people, whatever. I just, you know, I felt like it was just some sort of animosity he had towards me and. He wanted to, you know, get the clout and whatever, man. That's whatever you want to do. That's cool. But come at me like, like as correctly as a G, as a G and G. shit. You feel me? Like you're G. my. I looked at him as a brother, and you know, I found it disrespectful. That that was it. Whatever though. Ah, uh, we don't got no beef now and shit. I don't got no beef. I'll shake his hand today and shit. But it's all good. It it's all gravy. It whatever. We all we all on the own shit. We all men. It is. What We're it all is. older. We all got our own shit going on. You feel me? It is where it is. Okay, so let's just bang these out really quick. You mentioned Baker. Mm-hmm. And he was one of the ones in the article who was still one of the main guys when I wrote the article in 2017. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So just really quickly for the fans, what's <laughs> up with that? Uh, um, you want to go? For, you want to say your part? That's wow. a no-go for me, bro. Um, nah. Nah. <laughs> Well, That's uh, we, 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 he's, he's not he's not a part of the group right now, um, and 
That's just what it is. Yeah, he's just he's just not a part of the clique. He he got his own shit but, going hey, with the trio. I'm gonna put respect on his name. That man's a fucking legend. That man has extra fucking talent. That man's a fucking beast. A fucking beast at this shit. We've made so much good music together. It's insane. Yeah, we made it's a lot insane of good It's insane how much shit me and him made. A lot of shit that slept on. We made a lot of good we, shit. I, I done made so much shit with that man. Like, it, it go, it go, he was one, he's one of the, he's one of the essential, but uh, Baker was actually in before you. Well, I, well, I actually, actually, Baker was in, uh, Baker hit me up, it, it goes and then through. two, and then, and then two weeks later, or a few days later, you hit me up to join. You're like, let, you're, you're like, what's, what, what's good with this shit? Yeah, yeah, and I hit him up, that, and we're gonna, and, and that was, I, I that was it, that let's was take, it. And I said, let's take it to the next level and shit type of shit. That was it, but that me, was it. But me and Baker went a little bit more, little. Like, Y'all already knew each other. Yeah, we already knew each other. That was already a team, so. Yeah, it was we, we when I started six eight. He was one of the first members, probably the yeah, like the third or the second member, and we made a lot of good shit, man. Like uh, I don't, I don't got any animosity towards him. He's always gonna be a homeboy. That man, uh, legend. He's a legend. He's a legend. I give him that, that man. man. Legend for real. Um, and you know, we we just wanted to go. He wanted to go with his separate way. We wanted to do our thing. So. Mm-hmm. That's it. Like you know, he's making good music it, still. It is what we'll it check is. him out. He's on. He's on every platform. No hate for me. Yeah. No hate cool for me. people. Okay, so you're m- making music and compiling a crew around 2012 into 2014, mm-hmm. and that's when like SoundCloud rap and the SoundCloud underground happens and stuff like that. So what were you're in Alabama and you're in LA. Like, what were you guys doing before it sort of like you know became like where you're playing shows and your music is getting a lot of plays? Like, what were you up to in LA like in 2012? Like, what were you doing? Like before the music is that? Yeah, what yeah, yeah. Uh, just fucking bullshitting, like graffiti, fucking getting into fights. Fuck what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> Just, Fuck anything I ever did before I rapping. I was a I was a real hothead when I was younger and shit. Just getting into bullshit, so uh, I needed a source of outlet to fucking kind of like stop all that madness. So I reached I reached to music. Music kind of like saved my life in a way. And yeah. Fuck anything I ever did <laughs> before MC Holocaust. We just need to. Prior to MC Holocaust, we just need to light that life on fire and send well, it off to sea. I had a falling before that somewhat, but I created another one. I had a different name. I was D's Nuts at first. That was the OG name. The OG shit. And wow. then I said one day in, uh, what was it, Dallas? Yeah, Dallas. It was Dallas. That first time I told y'all, yeah. the, the, the night I told y'all, I, I was like, I was like, yo. I want to change my fucking name because these niggas always feel my shit fucking correct, incorrectly. And I ain't having that shit no more. It's a so I'm not finna be. I have to be Holocaust. I have to be Holocaust. <laughs> yeah, I gotta so- be Holocaust. Because this this goes on in every community. You can just look at the word and be harshful, or you can look at the truth. And that's every fucking ghetto. Hmm. It's gentrification. But it's different is is if you want to put it a different way. I got this from Bushwick Bill. Huh. R.I.P. Bushwick fucking Bill. I love yes, you. Dude. Yes. Yeah, he was the homeboy. He showed love. I love you. <laughs> Did are you guys meet him? He met him. Oh I wow, crazy. Him. Damn, dude. I wow. met him when I first Legend. moved to Portland. We we get a lot of respect from like yeah. old school legends and shit. And it's kind I didn't of even like, say I didn't even tell you they got rapped. <laughs> I didn't tell you they got rapped. I didn't say shit about rap. <laughs> yeah. He just stared at you and was like, you look like a rapper. He knew. He knew it was good. Wait, so with the name, I was reading an interview with Jason Dill, who obviously you guys know is the professional skateboarder. Go, go, who does the go. brand Shout fucking out Jason awesome. Dill. Shout out Jason Dill. And he was saying he named it fucking awesome, so it could never be in Zoomies. It could never be in the mall. <laughs> but, it's like almost but, like but he, but your is, name, he, he Holocaust. Is he is in Zoomies. Is he in Zoomies? He's in Zoomies. Uh, there's, they're they're in zoomies. God damn. For it. sure. 
It's just so much of a crazy name. He's not even on Spotify. He's not even on like. You want to sell me? <laughs> right. You actually sent me a message about a month ago. You said, "Hey, man." I was like, shit, this one's a little over my head. I have no idea how to get the word Holocaust. It's insane. But, you know, but, okay, think about it. I think, I think what's fucked up with me is that I'm a black man, a man of color, not even a black man. I'm indigenous. But there's, there's, there's all kind of white bands I hear called Holocaust this, Holocaust that. But they wouldn't accept my motherfucking name. But you, you, you search my name on there and you see... All the features, all the whoop de wop. You see all kind. Of, you see everything I ever did on that bitch. Huh. They made that shit. They won't let. But maybe next month. Maybe next month. Let me, give me give me about two weeks. Give me about two weeks. <laughs> let me get back home and see what's good with it. You feel me? I, I ain't tripping. If niggas waiting, they waiting. It's cool with me. I'm I'm fine with that. It's his name is just is it's kind of. You know, it's crazy, but, you know, it's kind of like a fuck you to, like, yeah. the industry. The society. Me? You feel me? The society. Yeah. I don't care. When he changed his name, I was like, that shit hard as fuck. I'm not up front. <laughs> he agreed with it. I, 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 I told him in the back when I was drunk as fuck one day. I said, hey, I'm going to change my name to MC Holocaust. They said, that shit hard as fuck. I said, oh, bet. <laughs> Bat it up. Awesome. Next thing you know, there, you feel me? fucking four more albums. Boom. There you go. That's it. So I need it. And you know, I need. I just need that shit from my brothers. You feel me? And I think it works. I mean, it, okay. I don't know who it worked for. I don't, it worked <laughs> for me. You know, <laughs> nigga. I don't know if it works for people. It works for people. I don't fucking know. Here's the next if it question. Works, if it works. When you're not in the studio or you're not doing shows, what's like your average day looking like? Uh, drinking beer, um, smoking way too many cigarettes, um, reading the dictionary, um, writing verses, and a little bit of skateboarding. That's about it. Yeah. And fucking off. Fucking off completely. Because your songs have been featured in a few Thrasher videos, a few skate videos. A lot. How and heavily are you tied into the skate? I'm not world? even. I'm, oh, well, I skateboard. That's a definite. So before I did this rap shit, I was Bob Gnarly. And it was very popular. They wrote about me and Thrasher before this. They don't even know huh. who I am. Yeah, right shout now. out Thrasher. Wow. Shout they out Baker they don't, even know, they don't even know it's me. Yeah. Shout out Rose Skateboards. Shout out, shout out Rose. Shout out Grind Fiends. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. The skate I, community fucks with us heavy. And oh, it's, it's going down right now. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, it's so fucking cool to see. It's really fucking cool to see that the community I want, I wanted to absorb, fuck with me heavy, just out of nowhere. You know, I already had ties and whatnot, but I never reached out like that. Like, I had to build my shit up to, for them to fuck with me. And it's really cool to see, like, the growth. All I want to see is growth. Yeah, man. All I care about is growth. Anything else, I don't give a fuck about. Progression. Progression. Growth. Yeah. Health. Progression's growth. a drug. Hell yeah. Hey. I'm hey, addicted say that again. to it. Say it again. Progression's a drug. There we go. I'm going to sample your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That would be an honor, <laughs> please. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Thank you so much. I'm addicted to progression. I don't care about anything else. Facts. Real shit. Real shit. So, this is a question I should have asked at the start. Mm-hmm. How'd you guys, what are the influences? How'd you come about your sound? It's a very yeah. specific sort of, you know, lo-fi, yeah. uh, whatever you want to call it. So, how'd that happen? You first. Uh, just, you know, just fucking gangster rap and shit, like collecting old tapes and shit, cassettes. That's what I used, that was my thing, just fucking discovering, uh, old Memphis, old, uh, G-Funk, a lot of old school, like, Detroit underground rap, Texas underground rap, a lot of East Coast underground shit. I like Detroit, I like East Coast Yeah, Detroit Detroit got a lot of hard shit. Right? If motherfuckers look deep into it. Bro. Yeah, you'll you'll find yeah. our sound somewhere in there and shit. Okay. Yeah. And uh yeah, a lot of Cali shit. Um Memphis, a lot of like OG Memphis heads fuck with us. Um 
like so you'll hear like you know a lot of like shit like that yeah pretty much just well my answer is very complex <laughs> okay so um i get influences from uh, okay my main influence well not my main influence um it's kind of hard to explain it because I have so much that influenced me to make the sound I, I wanted to make. Okay, so I, I okay, I'm, I'm gonna break it down to kind of real simple, real quick. Stuff like Ariel Pink or something like, like that, mm. something like that. Yeah, the lo-fi shit. So shit with just 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 low shit, and I really that, it just resonates with me. It just resonates with me. So I took that and I took all the styles from doo wop. The last few tracks I dropped lately, kind of do wop because it, you you can't you can't tell because it looped, but it does what it does and it, it's it's influence of a, a lot of old school shit. Mary J. Blige, go. Oh wow! Yeah, a lot of a lot of go. We got a lot of like influence from lo-fi. Like when I I'm not even gonna say any like there's like, some underground names that there that's only been released on like certain cassettes and like yeah. certain areas I mean, that you can't find. And we're not not, I'm not, 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 not I, I would say a good some, some hard shit. You I would say a good eighty percent of our music probably is is from niggas who made one tape. And you, you feel probably me? never heard of them and shit. And, and, like, you, and, and you never will again. Yeah. So you never where do you again. find this stuff? Like local Mom and pop. I, I, I do this no. shit. Set places, eBay. No, no. 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 You can find I'll, some on fucking eBay, but it's I'm, more I, I mean, I mean, I, you like before, sell a lot of your collection, right? Yeah, I, I, I've been. Doing, I, I was collection. doing this shit before I even rapped. Huh. I collect. <clears throat> I collect. I hunt down the fucking. Like I said, niggas who did one tape are the best like, ones ever in the world. Like in their mom's basement type of shit. Facts. Like, Filming. Some of my favorite That's why I bands in my mom's fucking are room. fucking That's ones who have four songs they made in college and they never That's fucking play again and, and like they never, never play it. the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we they got did, a lot they, of influences like that. I didn't see goats who did the shit who went way insane and bigger who did one tape niggas and then they went on and did some crazy shit. So how old are you guys? <laughs> one eighty six. One eighty six. Okay, but. Uh, when you're coming up in 2012, and you said that when you were coming up, there were some Radio Clan members that you fucked with. It shout w- out Sam Gorilla. Shout out Wolf. Shout out Max shout Gorilla. Out, shout out Sam Xavier Gorilla. Wolf shout out Xavier Wolf. Shout out You feel me? But so, when you're coming up, it seems like there's other people with similar influences who I would assume are the same age. Is that like parallel thinking of, you know, every 20 years, something from 20 years ago is cool again? And or like, how me. did like people all no, stumble upon it I, at I the same time? I don't care about any wave. It's, it's I have just, my own wave. It's just everybody that kind of like had the same mentality. We just linked up. My first show was with Wolf and Bones and shit. And oh shit! We 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 talked. We had the same interest and shit. And shout out Wolf too. Yeah, shout out Wolf. Shout, shout out Wolf, Bones. Travis. They showed love in and the hell, beginning. Yeah, shout out them for real. Yeah, so it's just, you know, that community and that time, I guess, we all kind of had that image and shit. We kind of wanted to put out to the world. It was the right time. It was. You was, was, it you was, was around the right... You, you, came, you, was came, you came up around, around the same time. Yeah, yeah. It was like... It was a made special, sense. special made time. Sense. It, made, it all made sense. So, I would say Doom Shop, Six Set... You guys are like the anti heroes of the underground. We're blackballed from the fucking. Un- oh, but, I mean, we're but blackballed why? from this. It's just, why? I don't know. I don't know. Because y'all so fuck niggas. We're just fucking hated for some fucking reason because I guess we're so raw. Maybe my like, name, whatever. I feel like. But, no, but yeah. okay, I'm going to say one thing. No music group in the fucking world drops more music than us ever. <laughs> ever! <laughs> Bitch, I, I'm finna drop a fucking 20. I'm finna drop two hours of music, nigga. Nah, we got, two we, got, of music. we got we got a lot of music. And shit. I'm finna you know, drop, drop two hours of music. Or you should have dropped some music right now on the podcast. <laughs> we got some about it, I, I got I got like uh, yeah, but we'll I'm finna drop two. That, I'm finna drop two hours of music. Wow. <laughs> and I got and I got I had to edit it. I had to edit it down. And, <laughs> and all of like Doom Shop, like they we're, we're all putting out playing. we're all putting out a gang of music. Um, it's not know. even it's not even synchronized. It's just it's just. It's but, natural. But so, like, when 
shit hits the fan in the underground and like everyone's getting sort of bigger and successful and everyone's torn together why you said you're blackballed how come there's we, never been really a lot of cross pollinization are, are you saying why do, we, I mean, why do we feel that way yeah like or like how come it never why did you guys never like you know, you fucking a collab <laughs> tape, no, a tour. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, what do you mean, like, with other artists? I don't yeah, know. I because don't, I don't fucking it seems know. like a lot of the other people ended up working together, they toured together, they did fucking collab This tapes. is the way I look at it. This is the way I... And, and nobody's really gonna fucking say it. And I feel like we were, like... You know, nobody sounds like us and shit, so they're gonna take these fucking sounds and they're gonna run with it. And I'm not gonna say names, but it's happened to a lot of, like, you know, a lot of times... And we see it, bro. I just I just saw it thirty minutes ago. <laughs> and I it's thought, real. I, and thought, it's, I thought it was Kane. And, and, and that's why. And that's another reason why we're fucking hated because we we call it out. Like you know, we 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 know. Like all right, somebody's watching us. And 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 they're, they're kind of big industry names too. And we're not. I'm not gonna say names neither. But throughout the years, it's like you know we're kind of they kind of see us through like. Like, we're, like, under a microscope and shit, and they're just studying us and shit and, like, trying to... Yes, that's get it. A, get, that's it. Get, that's yeah. it. And definitely. Yeah, and, like... And definitely. And then, and then I would say another thing, too, is, like, kind of, like, earlier in my career when I was doing shows, um, there was some sort of animosity for some fucking reason with certain people with me and some people that blew up, some people that actually just have one-hit wonders, but I would, like open shows and just, you know, do bullshit shows in, out here in L.A. Sometimes I even get paid and rock the shows and shit, like get the whole crowd moving more than the headliners, you feel me? So there would be some type of animosity, I feel like, like from that. And it just, you know, our name, his name's crazy. The fucking whole label's crazy. We rap about crazy shit. It's not radio friendly. It's just, you know. I made a whole We're, we're making it happen ourselves. And we're, we're, we're fucking, you know independent as fuck and i'll die ha happy like that dog honestly if i die tonight i'll be i'll be happy with <laughs> i'll be I, happy with, with all did. the shit we put out cause right I'll be happy. Cause in it for the music we're not really here so, for you know the fucking we'll do out. Yeah. because it's working out for you guys regardless you guys just did a show last night that was packed S out sold that there shit was out. What, like a thousand people there or some crazy shit like we that we reached we reached over max capacity we stopped Fucking, we cut off the door and shit. It it was it was a good turnout at uh, Rare House. Shout out Rare House. Shout yeah, out shout out fucking Rare House, man. But I was thank y'all. So I was saying to you before we started rolling, is I saw footage from last night and that reminded me of like, damn, like five years ago in the underground yeah, when like there was yeah. these shows popping and no one's doing those kind of shows anymore mm -hmm. in the underground except for you guys. But you're having success in it. We we we. I would say out here in LA, we do it once a year. It's, right. This is the third one we've thrown, and that's how we kind of like try to keep it like exclusive. Like, yeah, they're not the type to throw shows every fucking month, or we're, we're not touring. You feel me? Like, that's how we like to keep the uh, like authenticity of the fucking label and shit. Like, we're rare. That's how, that's how I like to put Doom Shop as. You feel me? And then that's why a lot of people rolled up. They're like, "Oh shit!" Like we had people fly out from like. I don't. Other... I don't show up. I don't show up anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You weren't at the show. I wasn't. No, he was at the oh. show. Oh, I have to be. Uh -huh. yeah, we were all at. No, the it's show. my job. Shit. The whole label was <laughs> at the show job. except uh, DJ Koza. Shout out DJ Koza. Shout out fucking DJ Koza. Oh, big part about that six set. <laughs> six set. DJ Koza. Oh yeah, yeah. DJ Koza had a. DJ Koza. Okay. We can we can we can we can put this on the table real quick, with the whole cowboy shit with us right now. <laughs> oh yeah 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 that's that, another that's, thing that's too. Me, that's that's, another that, thing that's me and his fault. <laughs> that's me and his fault for making that popular. We apologize. And that the, I'm sorry, y'all. To the SoundCloud. God world. damn! Why y'all fuck that shit okay. up? Y'all fuck that shit up. What's the story up. here? Y'all <laughs> fuck that shit up. We like in the early early days. We that's were... his guitar. <laughs> that's his guitar. Like he used, was, he's using cowbells as good uh, as good, good a guitar. Nobody was really mm -hmm. using like um, cowbells a lot, like other than like, not like insane. Like Tommy Wright, Tommy Wright's like I mean, shit we got was it from a lot there, of, but he took it to another level. Yeah, and then we kind of like fucking adopted it, and then we overused it a little bit too much. So now like <laughs> it, it got out of hand. So even when you type in like let's say 
underground funk or some bullshit like that. Fucking <laughs> okay, fuck that word. <laughs> yeah, fuck that word, yeah. bro. Yeah, we. I'm wanna... really pissed off about that fucking word. Yeah, leave yeah. that shit to space go perp, bro. Yeah, that's, that's all respect to that man and they hold anything they built, but don't put that. I hate being a fucking. I do not. I do not like putting genreize or some shit like that's not our genre. Like yeah, we don't. We, I'm not funk. I'm not Raider Clan. Raider Clan. Raider Clan is funk. Yeah, that's. And you're gonna put a P on it, right? <laughs> P H. You're gonna put a P on it. God damn. P H. <laughs> She ain't got a pH balance. Shout out uh, Trill Funk. No. No? Trill no. Funk promo? No. Well, that's classic underground right there. Nope. I mean, he uploaded. Nope. Okay, nope. Look, and that's another thing. To nope. I'm not, I'm not trying to shit on Homeboy's name. Fuck shit. him. I, didn't, I had <laughs> no yeah. prior knowledge. Of, okay, okay, okay. So, all right. So, uh, that's an, how you brought up the whole uh, blackballed shit. That was another thing, too. Like, because... He he uploaded a, uh, like you know classics. He 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 was that YouTube dude that would upload shit. And then I think I don't even remember what the fuck it was over, but it was like over some. But I see shit. what he you're was, saying though. He was kind of like on his hand, though, but he still. had some animosity towards mm-hmm. us too, and some some shit. I don't even remember what the okay, fuck it okay, was. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna say, it's but real. he wasn't fucking with us at all. Period. I'm gonna say and, real, and, some shit, some real simple shit. Yeah, I could be a fan of a nigga who just uploads shit. We'll push a button. I'm done. Because okay, so I would yeah, argue that he's curating the channel I'm, I'm, yeah. and like he's making I, those I, choices. I, 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 understand. I don't like know him. I, yeah, I don't. Yeah. I, I understand. I understand. I get. The, I get. I get the idea. Right. We beefed it over I, some I shit. Care. Over. I don't. I, don't, I, ain't be, over I, I never beefed with the nigga either. He didn't fuck with us, and we didn't fuck with him. I don't. And I don't. I don't. I'm happy you don't. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and yeah. That's that's how it led to like us not getting fucked with and like <laughs> shout out fucking North North he he uploads a lot of like yeah that shout out him shit. Yeah. shout out him yeah shout, shout out, out like, him <laughs> shout out to Russian man shout out to Russian <laughs> man this is Russian definitely man. my favorite podcast so far <laughs> oh, Russian man oh man <laughs> MC fucking Alakaz encouraged yeah, dude big. classic we oh. in this biatch. Okay, so I'm like, I'm like running through the timeline. So, 2015, 2016, like Doom Shop is popping, That's right? Like about. it's, and there's members coming in. So, how do you add members once you're already popular? Like, are you cautious? Um, okay. You, were, you, were, you want me to ask that one or? It, we're very, we're very fucking cautious with uh, Extreme. like we, we, uh, shout out Young Demise. He was our, our, I think that was the, the last, last, last one, last, last one. one. It's more like shout out Demise. Um, you know, we've had other artists try to reach out to us, trying to like get co-signed and shit. And we're just like, it's more about like how you carry yourself and the type of sound. If we fuck with you. You know, you're putting out like good shit. You don't even have to have like numbers and shit. We just we love the music. I don't like, give a fuck about numbers. And then, numbers can build up. You know, we recruited like you know really good like members that are Solid. putting out decent shit. Like you know, Little Kane, shout out Little Kane and uh, okay. Soze. You feel me? Ned Bundy. He's one of the OG ones. The though. Menace. Hey, first of all, I would not even be fucking rapping or had the confidence to even do this shit without the Menace. That man <laughs> been doing this shit for fucking way before. We was even doing this shit. Yeah. He been doing this shit for a long time. So that's respect on his that's that's <laughs> all. Respect on his name. The man's bumping. Yeah, and then still uh, bumping. I would say another one was Freddie Dredd. He was he was doing uh he didn't even have numbers back then. I and found him. We both found him. Yeah, we all yeah. So how? <laughs> how do you come across someone like Freddie Dredd? He he uh I think he reached What's your story with it? I totally forgot how, it, but we just somehow linked up, and we and he hit me up to do some music, and and I hit him okay. up to do some somebody shit. Somebody told me about him, and I hit him up, yeah. and he joined Doom Shop, and but, then I put him down in Six Head too, and yeah, then so, we just it hit it, we hit it off from I there. I found him, and I said your voice, your voice, because he was, he was still figuring his voice out. Still, it won what you hear now, that wasn't it. He was still figuring it out, just like I, I had to figure it out. He figured that shit the fuck out. Got his voice. He was a, he was a straight. Now he, now uh, he a boss. He was a progression. He was uh, he a boss. He's one of those like 
you know, special type Dirty of artist, up. you feel me? Like, he... Nobody was fucking with him back in the day, but we were, and we we helped him out, like, just, like, putting out videos, compilations, and shit, just trying to get people to hear him, and fuck, it happened, he, you know? That whole TikTok shit, he's, he's blowing up. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> Freddie Trey blew up on TikTok <laughs> with Cha-Cha first, yeah. and then another one, I forget... It was the next song that blew up. It was Cha Cha, and then Cha Cha is the main one. I don't even. Cha Cha is the main one. And then like something else. I don't even fucking know. Have either of you ever been on the? I don't know. I've never. What the what the fuck is TikTok? But so (laughs) what the fuck is that? And then more recently he put out weather that he put out weather and that blew up. So what the fuck is this shit? What tell me what TikTok is? I have no idea. It's like you. Uh, How the fuck people is singing shit? along to songs. This is crazy. But so awesome. Freddie Dread, he's in your crew. Yeah. You know, he's maybe like the fifth most popular crew, uh, most popular rapper in. You talk. Uh, you talk right now. You talk yeah. right now. And now he has you like right now. Yeah. what is like you three million right monthly Spotify listeners and songs with fifteen million plays on Spotify, but you with your right tag at the start of the songs. Yeah. Doom shot, motherfucker. Yes, that one. So how does that feel when someone you found blows up? Success, like like that that satisfies me. Even like I would, and that's how I feel with this label. Like I go to sleep that's real the whole good. Point. That's the whole point. Of I go Doom to sleep Shop. real good. This is the whole point of Doom Shop. Is like if I die tonight, I'll be happy. Is that um, <laughs> that other artists? We're, we want them to, to be successful. We want people. This is a platform them, platform for them and shit. Like Freddie, like we just. Kept putting out like compilations, videos, Twitter tweets, and like posts, and and it finally got done. Wait till next week, nigga. Yeah, there's a, we got a lot of hot Wait shit coming. Wait till next week, two hours of music, <laughs> fifty tracks, volume three. Volume three. Let's edit it down. Yeah, nah, for free. <laughs> two hours. Cause yeah. it's not on Spotify. It's not going on Spotify. No, no, no. Spotify. Fuck Spotify. <laughs> but so as someone like Freddie gets more popular, yeah, you guys are under the underground. How yeah. do you handle that? It's it, it's get, fine, it, honestly, and, and it's not even a fucking issue. The whole this that that was the, like I was saying. This, this is the whole point of Doom Shop. For there's gonna be certain members that are gonna blow up, and there's gonna be some that don't. And and it's at the end of the days, it's all love for the fucking music, and we're and we're all in this fucking consciousness trying to fucking make something out of ourselves. We all have the same mindset and the same goals. So if this person reaches this this level. And we all gonna keep, keep doing that, regardless. And, I, and I've told them, and I've told them, if you, if your label or, or whatever the regardless. fuck has to, you know, if there was some regulation where they tell you you gotta stop repping six set or doom shot, you go for it, dog. You need to go wow. get your do money, your thing. get your money, and and make sure your family's good. Whatever the fuck you gotta do, and that and that's the whole point. Real shit. Yeah. And if and and, and it's on them if they still want to rep. And which Freddie is, Freddie right. reps it hard as fuck. And, and that's my brother. I love him. Love you guys are all in the studio right now. Oh, in a we, fancy we, we, studio. We, we, we just came. We just came. Yeah, you know. yeah. We're going right back after. This. Yeah. <laughs> going back, back in the lap, nigga. Well, we're gonna we're gonna drop some more back shit lap, and nigga. record a gang of shit. Is that uh, your first time in like a real ass studio yeah, yeah. like that? I've been, I've been yeah. in a, a couple studios, that's my, but my that was that was one. That one's that's probably my, the nicest that's one. That's my first shit. shit. So how do you maintain that lo-fi sound in a fancy ass studio? Oh, we got oh. You got all the that's tricks easy. up your that's sleeve. Easy. Yeah, yeah. That's easy. That's easy. We've been that's doing easy. this shit for years, bro. Like, it's, we can use the most latest shit, and we'll make it sound like I hear y'all it was recorded and like, sound like us and shit. We'll make it sound like you know it was recorded saying? like thirty years ago. And shit, nigga. I'm a walking cassette, nigga. You feel me? So I do this shit easy as fuck, bro. I smoke Newport's so all motherfucking day. <laughs> You're getting out for sure here in your me. voice. Get the fuck out of here with this shit, nigga. I lose my voice over this shit, nigga. That's the thing, because I've had that talk with Freddie, too, and he's explained it in ways that I don't even fully understand, and he's like, no, like, our shit is, like, lo-fi, lo-fi, and other but, shit but, is but, just... but think about it. Some... It, okay, for me, I'm talking for me, Um, it depends on the beat 
and the hook, I just go for the cadence. Okay, if it sounds like this, I'm going to pitch my voice a little lower. Mm. If I if 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 it's a if it's something I really fucking feel like Marsh or Tina or something like that, I have to have it correct volume. You know, if it's some other you know everything ain't supposed to be high quality for me. If you hear some shit like you hear some shit all the way down here, and it sound it's supposed to be down there, but if I really want to speak, it'll be up here. Huh? Say less. You just blew my mind. <laughs> now all the it, fucking, it, it's supposed to be what's supposed to be. All the funk, right. all the funk, like little uh, engineers are wa- gonna watch this shit and study it. You are saying too much, bro? <laughs> yeah, bro. They make oh, down no, here's but, down but, here, but, and up but, here's but, up here. No, no, but I, I, but I know how I want to sound. They can't, yeah. they can't, they can't. Nah, nobody can duplicate it. They can't, they can't do they it. They can try. They, they've they tried. can't do it. Everybody tries. They to can't fucking, do it. They try to duplicate us all the time. I mean, you, that, can it, you can do it all you want to, but if it's me, it, certain shit got a certain meaning. I put, I, put, I put respect on my shit. So, what do you think like the future holds in terms of just strictly your music? Are you going to maintain what you're doing? Do you have any like ambitions of you want to like do this kind of project or? You? Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell fucking yeah! I'm gonna. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be doing this shit till I die. I mean, mean, like, oh, I'm finna get in on y'all niggas. We we ain't finna like month uh, rough around, nigga. I mean, we'll ch- we'll we'll change our shit, but rough like, around, nigga. it's only gonna get better. <laughs> rough it's around. only gonna get harder and better, more thump, more fucking lo-fi. I got something for y'all ass. Truth. And what do we got coming in 2020? <sighs> oh, oh, Doom Shot Volume Three. No, not 2020. That's 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 probably next. That's probably next. Uh, week. T- maybe hey, maybe 2020. Late 2020. Nigga, let me get Wi-Fi real quick. <laughs> let me find my charger. You had to upload it live on the podcast. Go, I gotta go back to the the video to find my charger tonight. Nah, we 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 got a we, we got a compilation coming out next year. No, but um, yeah, we do. Yeah, we're oh, dropping. Yeah. Oh that no, shit. no, I'm saying, I'm saying, no, no, that yeah, but we gotta we're gonna work on a um a album. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We're not, well, we we got an album we're gonna work on. That's not gonna be released till next year. Yeah, but we that's, got that's, that's a whole probably maybe in the next some year. Some exclusive songs that you know you're but not gonna hear. It's executive year. produced by me and DJ Koza. Yeah, and then next year we're gonna have the compilation, which is Volume Three, and that's four. gonna be oh is it, yeah Volume Four. I'm four. Sorry. Yeah. Four. Mhm. Volume Four. We could drop it in, in the day right now. Four. How do you guys handle the merch? That's always something I'm curious about because there's so many of you guys. Shout out to Eleven King. And you all rep the same thing. Do you all do your own merch? And like you nah, keep it, like it was, how does that, it work? That's when how you're it all... was when we first started, but we kind of like it was a little unorganized. So we had Kane. Kane, a little Kane, kind of handles uh, all the merchandise, and we divide it from there. And you know, if we want to do, if someone wants to do a print, you know, they hit up Kane. Kane's our our merch, my bad. Kane's the fucking <laughs> merch guy. You feel me? Shout out Kane. He sent me some shit. Yeah, he's he's uh-uh. the hero. Listen, I still go, need go, that go, uh, go, 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 go. like uh, bling logo. I mean, like if you got any sitting somewhere, I got that shit, I'll pay for I it. Got that shit, nigga. I just want the opportunity to buy shit, it. We'll, we'll hook you up. We'll hook you up. Thank you. You already got. Thought we got you. Thank we got you, bro. Thank go you. Go way back. Let's see what with some rare shit though. Fire. Go way back. Hell yeah, man. So, is there anything I should have asked you guys that I didn't? I mean, shit. I think it's enough, enough been said already, for real. I mean, yeah. I mean, we're we're fucking. We're we, just, we still got more shit dropping. Got more shit dropping. A lot more shit. The history. A lot shit, more shit. The history of the shit is it's it's just crazy, y'all. We've been doing this shit forever. I mean, I've been doing it for a minute. Nigga, I've been for four years, nigga. I've been, been doing this shit way before me. Yeah. A lot of niggas been doing this shit before me. Shout out Killer C, shout out DJ JT. You know what I'm saying? Shout out DJ Koza. You know, they, them niggas put me in the game. Yeah. They put me in the game. I won't be here right now. Yeah. A lot of a lot of people, we got to thank the, that pe- helped pave the way for Doom Shop Records. A cult. <laughs> APOC. Yeah, a cult of APOC. Go check out a cult. He's one of the craziest producers too. OG. Horror Big movie. OG. 
horror movie producer. Shout I, that's out Stone the Dog. Stone Dog too. Um, yeah, dog. That's everybody. Is there anyone in the underground scene besides you guys and your crew that are on the same level as you, or is it like no? You guys are the only ones left, <laughs> right? I'm the, I'm the last Mohegan. I mean, like. I don't know, That's honestly. I don't. We don't. I don't pay attention to anybody else. But like, I don't give a fuck about nobody else. We fuck just... everybody. <laughs> I don't fuck about them. We, I what fuck. I fuck with anybody that you know kind of sho- shows you as bump. much. Yeah, we'll we'll bump you and if we'll, you bump it, you bump it. We'll have some people feature on our shit. Shout you can out go AOZ. Check them out. Yeah, shout out AOZ. Shout out AOZ. Shout out um. Yeah, shout out AOZ. Shout out Jake AOZ. That's it. I ain't got no more shout outs. <laughs> fuck them. So, I mean, this is almost the same question, but not really. What are your thoughts? A lot of people say, oh, the underground's dead now, blah, blah, blah. That's on them. What are your thoughts on the current underground scene? That's on them. And I, I, think, I, don't, I don't know the current underground, so you can speak on that. I think the current underground, it's... It's fucking weird right now. The whole SoundCloud. It's always gonna be weird. SoundCloud era is kind of like out of out of hand, and it's low key dying. Yeah. In my way, it's kind of like it's almost like TikTok rap is the new yeah. Shit. It's TikTok yeah. rap, and everybody wants to be a trap rapper. Everybody wants to fucking you know. Everybody want to be somebody else. Yeah, and then and we're we're all, we're always gonna sound like this shit. We're always gonna fucking be doing some raw shit, fuck you type of shit. Like we. But we're we're like, just fuck. too we're yeah. too raw for the industry. We're not you're not gonna see, you, you, there's certain members like you know they kind of adapt to like you know radio friend like 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 Freddie. He's kind of adapting to it. He has different sounds and shit. But some members just you know we're diehards with like Real shit. our shit. I start I start rapping doing. You're that not gonna hard hear shit. me on the fucking radio. You feel I, me? I like, start doing that hard shit sometimes because niggas got so used to that shit. And I started doing a whole different way. I made songs without fucking cuss words. I started making different R&B and shit on my own way because niggas think I'm just kill, 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 kill. No, bro. You can't just be, you can't just wait. You know, you got to hit different lanes, man. Yeah, man. Different lanes. But I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to still explore. I'm just the underground ain't the same like how it used to. A lot of like, is it, people is, had is, special. Is it, is it still underground for real? A lot of people had like special things, like, and it's not just like our genre, like you know, it's just, it's not like that anymore. Like, like little Peep, let's say little Peep, like he had his own special, like right. fucking he thing. He had his own sound. sound. He had his own sound. Shout out little Peep too. He was a fan. He was a big fan of my shit. Oh, shit, wow. True. He Damn. was. At, True. He was <laughs> there was a show. He fucking. I think it was with R- Ramirez too, and then um, I I I went up because I guess like. People were fucking waiting to see me because I was kind of like a mystery at that time and shit. And um, I think it was Smoke a Sack and Young Cortex, if I remember. And they were like, it was, it, and the show was dead. It was fucking weird. And I always tell people about the story because it was a 420 show and there was a gang of like just underground legends that were there. And, and it was a dead show. It wasn't packed. I think Pete performed. Eddie Baker performed before. I think it's Sesh Hollow Water Boys was popping, but you know Eddie was doing his like solo shit. Right. I was doing my solo shit with Ramirez, and I remember Peep being right there too. Everybody was vibing. It was cool. Wow. Yeah, it was like where some, it was at Los Gobos. Oh shit! That's the flyers crazy. out there. You can find it. It's wow. out there. This is probably like what 2015. Shit, I, I want to say 14. Wow. Holy yeah, shit. It was, it mm. was, it, see, and then that's what I mean. Like, the underground ain't the same like that. There's just no sense of community anymore. No, 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 no right. at all. And everybody kind of like, everybody wants to talk shit too. Yeah. Everybody wants to be enemy. Because enemy, here's, they want to be an enemy or a fan. Because enemy or a fan. Here's, here's why. And this can't interrupt me though. This is the brutal truth. When when rappers were just putting their music on SoundCloud, no one was making money. No one was doing shows yet because they weren't popular yet. So I'm, they were I'm, all I'm, broke, I'm, living in a house together. Broke, mm-hmm. had to make music, had to right hang here. out. People put their right music here. on Spotify. Everyone has their own money. They feel some type of way. They think they're popular. They're making five. I ain't got my show on Spotify. I don't give a fuck. Exactly. The thing about the rap was fucking up with the underground right now. It's every fucking fan wants to start fucking rapping. That's also true. Everybody want to be a fucking rapper. Get the fuck, sit the fuck down. Y'all niggas trash. 
No aesthetic. The same aesthetic that you follow. Yeah. So you think everything is a fucking... It's, it's, it's just, it has to be this way. You can do your own fucking way. Everything don't got to be our way. Right. Everybody don't got to be everybody else's way. But that's what niggas think when they come in the game. And that's what's saturating, oversaturating the fucking game. So now you oversaturate our sound mm -hmm. with that fucking bullshit. Say no more. Say less. Because now it's an established scene so where you can just see, oh, they did this, so I'm going to do this, this, and that. But before, five years ago, no one really knew what they were doing. Yeah, and they were figuring to, out themselves. I came, I came original. When right. I came in this motherfucking game, he already had six set established. I want to do something a little bit different. And we figured out how to do something different. And I started fucking with... We, we kind of collabed both. Yeah, we, we, yeah. Like I, I say, Akosa, he kind of put it together. Yeah, Koza, yeah, Koza kind of like... He put it together with the shit. Yeah. So now, that's our sound because of him. If it wasn't for a Koza, I don't think we'll have our signature sound. Yeah, he, I, I could say that. And then, for but sure. The, but, but the, yeah. The, the kicks, hats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely, he had a big part of it. And then just everybody else had their own type of shit. And we all just fucking... A cult. Like the whole, the whole, the whole... Yeah. Nah, you, yeah, you got to give a cult We owned it. Too. We owned it. Go check out a coat on SoundCloud. Shout out a coat, man. You That's my OG. That's the first thinker who ever had motherfucking. Um, he made me rap too. That was my first. That was the first. The first nigga told me. Go check him out. A coat. You spell it with a V. First nigga told me do this shit. He's fucking out of this world. You haven't heard Doom Shop yet. If you haven't heard a coat, real shit. I mean, you forced to. Mm -hmm. You forced to. Mm -hmm. That man a goat. Oh shit! I appreciate you guys coming by. Thank you. Yeah. Do you got a message you want to leave? I'll let with? you go first. Uh, one eight six. Fuck everybody. Yeah, I want to say. That's all I got to fucking say. One eighty six. Marriage they fucking blas. Doom shop fucking Scythe records. Man. Six set. We ain't going nowhere. Four life. Here to stay. And we gonna keep. Fuck it with wrong. me or fuck off. <laughs>